Y'all, when I came across this clip that I'm getting ready to show y'all, I said, wow, that says a lot. Like, it's one thing for men to be attracted to women physically, right? It's one thing for men to look at us and say, oh, you know, she's a beautiful woman and I want to get to know her based upon her beauty or her physical attraction. But when a man actually does take the time out to talk to us, to try to get to know us, what they're finding out is they really don't like us as people. And to me, okay, that speaks volumes about how we as women need to be more conscious and aware of how we're treating men and how we are talking to men and, you know, uh, if we're being degrading, if we're emasculating them, like a lot of that is factoring in and tying into why a lot of men just don't even want to deal with us at all, right? And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I, I want to get into this. I want to break this down briefly before I get into the clip. For so long, when it comes to women, all we focus on is the external. How do I physically look? And to be honest with you all, and this is no shade, but even when it comes to the external factors of, you know, what makes a woman attractive, we barely even take into consideration what men would consider to be attractive aesthetically. Right. It's like, well, men are telling y'all that they don't like the lace front wigs and they don't like the long, ridiculous clown nails. And, you know, they don't like the, you know, extra long, ridiculous eyelashes and clown makeup. Like men will tell us, look, I don't like that. I don't like the botched BBL bodies. They'll tell us all of these things. And yet we'll ignore that, still do everything that they're telling us that they don't like from us. And then, I don't know, we complain that they're not attracted, but that's another story. What I'm really trying to hone in on is the fact that we're not taking into consideration as women how to be complimentary to men on an emotional and mental, energetic level. All we focus on is the physical. How do I look? And sure, that can get a lot of men to approach you and be attracted to you. But is that going to be the thing that is keeping men around? And I'm going to tell you all straight up and down. No, a lot of us are attractive women, but we're not. How can I put this? We're not pleasures to be around. The idea of us is cute, but the reality of dealing with us, trash. Trash. Absolutely trash. And that's just me being 1,000. This is why we can't keep men today. The reason why we can't keep men today is because, yeah, we can draw them in with our looks, but getting to know us, we're stuck up full of ourselves, disrespectful, neglectful, you name it, rude. And so that is what's pushing men away. We have to consider everything when it comes to relationships. We have to consider and take into account everything that we're doing when it comes to, you know, having a man want to commit to us and pour into us and be with us. Not just one element. Yeah, you look good but your attitude is trash. You look good, but you treat men like trash. You look good, but everything about you is just not up to par. It is not something that would make a man want to deal with you long-term. This is why we just get hit and quit so much. Like, yeah, I'll hit it because she looks good. And to be honest, a lot of men ain't even doing that no more, but we're going to leave it over there. But yeah, she looks good, so I'll, you know... Hit it from the, the back, okay? But as far as really taking this seriously, hell no. This will be a complete disaster. She don't even talk to me right. 
anyway y'all like the video show the video and subscribe and let's get into this right here because this was very telling and i'm pretty sure a lot of men may feel this way and after i actually play this clip and break it down i'm going to actually ask the brothers because i know a lot of my brothers rock with me heavy and so they're going to be real with me okay so after i play this this clip i'm going to create a poll and i'm going to ask my brothers do you agree with this okay or do you not but i'm going to be honest i feel like a lot of y'all will let's get into it might be a little controversy and y'all check me if i'm wrong i think men today they're attracted to women, you know, in the sense of the men heterosexual. I think they are attracted to women in the sense of physically, they like their bodies, the way they look. I don't think a lot of men today actually like women, though, like personal personality wise. I think I don't think they enjoy them once they get to speak on like how they feel and how they think the world should be, especially when they speak on what a man should be doing. I think that turns a lot of men off. You got to think about it. What's the main thing you hear from women today? I make my own money. I'm independent. I don't need a man for anything, this and that. Okay, so if you're a man and you're hearing that, and then all of a sudden she's telling you what you should be doing, what are you going to turn around and say? Well, what the fuck are you going to be doing while I'm doing that? Does that make sense? Like, I, do, I think men love women. Like, they love black women. They love the idea of a woman. Black is beautiful. Oh, she looks good. Her ass is fat. She has pretty eyes. But I think when it gets down to, like, when women start talking about how they view men and what men should do, I think men take a step back and say, I don't fucking like this person. And that that in return will make a man say, well, what the fuck are you going to be doing? And that right there said it all. Now, let's break down what he said, though, because I don't think that a lot of us really listen to what men are saying. It's all about, you know, what we want from a man and what we think a man should do, what we think a man should be. But we don't ever really sit down and truly uh, absorb whatever information that a man is dishing our way. Okay. Let's break it down. He said, yes, I know that when it comes to uh, men and our attractive, to, our attractiveness to women that, yeah, we, we like them, right? We, we find them to be beautiful. You got a nice ass, you know what I'm saying? You got a pretty face, you know? Yeah. I like you physically, but when a woman opens her mouth, I don't like what's coming out of it. It turns us off. It completely turns us off. When we start to peel back the layers and we start to really see what she's about, what she's made of, right? She starts talking about what a man is supposed to do and what a man is supposed to be. And, you know, a real man would do this and a real man would do that. And it's like, hold on. Yeah, initially I found you to be attractive, but the words that you're spewing, your stances that you're taking, the rudeness of your delivery, everything about you is just like, again, a turnoff. So he's saying, based upon how a lot of women interact with a man, okay, outside of just the physical it triggers it into a lot of men's minds like hold on you're barking all these orders at me and telling me what i need to do and what i should be and what i need but hold on what, what about you and so that's when you get into the whole situation of you know women getting their feelings when men bring up you know what do you bring to the table well what he's saying is the only reason why a lot of men get on defense mode when it comes to a lot of women is because it's like well you're barking all these orders at me you're having all these demands for what i need to do and what i need to be but nowhere in there did you bring up what your expectation of yourself was and what I would get out of the equation. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're dealing with. This was very eye-opening for me. Because it's like, hold on. Do men really like women? Are women likable? In today's time, let's be honest. In today's time, are women truly likable? Can you sit down and have a decent conversation with the woman without her telling you what a real man should do? 
and what she expects for you to do and all of this. And, and again, she's not bringing up what she's required to do. She's not highlighting or acknowledging what she's going to be expected to do. But yeah, I'm going to bark these orders. Which again, triggers a man like, hold on, you, I feel backed into a corner. This is what we're dealing with today. We're dealing with an issue to where men are starting to feel attacked. I'm like, hold on. Like, yeah, I know that as a man, I'm supposed to do X, Y, and Z, one, two, and three, but I don't need you telling me what I need to do. I already, I'm already doing it. So it's insulting from what I'm gathering. It's very insulting for a woman to come through wagging her finger, talking about what a man needs to do and you know what she ain't gonna do and all this. And it's like, first things first, I'm already doing what a man is supposed to do. So I don't need you to tell me as a woman what a man is supposed to do. You don't even you don't even know what it is to be a woman. You don't even know what you need to do as a woman. Yet you got all this knowledge, all this information, all this wisdom as far as what a man needs to do. So that's already a strike. Because you're out of pocket. You're out of bounds for this. A lot of us don't even focus on what a woman should be bringing to the table. But yet, you know what a man's supposed to do. And let's just be honest, you all. And y'all like the video. Show the video and subscribe. I'm going to replay this clip in a second. Let's be honest. When it comes to a lot of the orders that are being barked at men from women. Everything is falling upon the man. To where we leave nothing for us to contribute at all. Let's really peep the game. It's, it's one thing, right? When you are having a dialogue with somebody and you're, you know, getting to know them and you're, you know, exchanging information as far as what you feel would make a relationship be successful and thrive and grow. And you're coming from both sides. You're, you're coming from both perspectives. You're laying down the law as it uh, pertains to women. And you're laying down the law as it pertains to men. That's healthy. That's balanced. That's being fair. What he's saying, though, is that, you know, he's coming across women that he does find to be attractive. But when you talk to them and you try to. Uh, get a clear understanding of what a woman is supposed to do and what a man is supposed to do and how to collaborate effectively as a unit, as a team, that's the conversation that is not being had. As a matter of fact, what he's saying is all you hear is what the man is supposed to do, even regards or in regards to what the woman is maybe supposed to be required to do for the man, right? So for example, you can say a woman is supposed to, I don't know, cook, clean, uh, be submissive, um, listen. Like you can say that, right? Let's just make it very generic and, and say that's what a woman is supposed to bring to the table. What he's saying is when it comes to having these conversations, the woman is saying, well, a real man, he would hire somebody to cook and clean and be submissive to him. Not me, though. And if he was a real man, you know, you would hire or you, you know, would do everything that a, a woman is supposed to do for yourself and for me. Because after all, I'm a boss chick. Right. And it's backing a lot of men into a corner. To where they feel like, you know, it's really not worth the pursuit. You're telling me, y'all, oh, a man supposed to do this, a man supposed to do that. It's like, hold on. Well, what are you supposed to do? If I'm doing all of what a, a real man is required to do, on top of doing everything that you as a quote unquote real woman is supposed to do, what's your use? What do I need you for? So when he makes the bold claim of, I don't think men really like women, I cannot really argue with that because a lot of us, uh, just being honest and shout out to the women that this does not apply to. But again, y'all, y'all know what we're dealing with. When it comes to a lot of the women of today, we're, we're, we're just not it. 
And when you say that, you're being rude, you're hating, you're hateful, you're toxic, you're dysfunctional, but that's what it is. And what makes it so crazy is all of those terms that y'all call these people that call out the hypocrisy, that call out the nonsense, you are actually everything that you're putting upon them. You are the one that is dysfunctional. You are the one that's toxic. You are the one that is out of your element, out of your mind. So that's why a lot of men are turning their backs on women today because they really don't like us. What am I getting out of you for real? Somebody that's halfway decent as far as looks and maybe a, a nice roll in the sack, heavy on the maybe. But then outside of that, it's just demands, commands, dysfunction, anger, her trying to be a dictator and run me around and emasculate me. Oh, hell no. So I'm going to play this clip again and I'm going to ask my brothers, do you agree? I'm sorry. Do you agree or disagree with this brother that's saying that, hey, as men, we really don't like women. We like to be up under y'all, be on top of y'all. But as far as being with y'all. Nah, you can keep that. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Might be a little controversy and y'all check me if I'm wrong. I think men today, they're attracted to women, you know, in the sense of them being heterosexual. I think they are attracted to women in the sense of physically, they like their bodies, the way they look. I don't think a lot of men today actually like women, though, like personal, personality wise. I think I don't think they enjoy them once they get to speak on like how they feel and how they think the world should be, especially when they speak on what a man should be doing. I think that turns a lot of men off. You got to think about it. What's the main thing you hear from women today? I make my own money. I'm independent. I don't need a man for anything, this and that. Okay, so if you're a man and you're hearing that, and then all of a sudden she's telling you what you should be doing, what are you going to turn around and say? Well, what the fuck are you going to be doing while I'm doing that? Does that make sense? Like, I, do, I think men love women. Like, they love black women. They love the idea of a woman. Black is beautiful. Oh, she looks good. Her ass is fat. She has pretty eyes. But I think when it gets down to like when women start talking about how they view men and what men should do, I think men take a step back and say, I don't fucking like this person. And that that in return will make a man say, well, what the fuck are you going to be doing? Brothers, take the poll right now. Do you agree or do you disagree with what this brother just said? Are you finding yourself in a situation to where, yes, you love to look at women. You love to be physically involved, if you will, with women. But as far as being, you know, serious with a woman, as far as liking her outside of the role in the sack, y'all let me know, like, is that not something that you're into? Like, it's strictly physical with y'all. Yeah, we, we find y'all to be attractive, but we don't find it necessary or suitable to really be with y'all. Y'all let me know. Take the poll. I would love to know. Because to me, okay, this spoke humongous value. And hopefully it really does open up a lot of the women's eyes to see that, hey, we have to meet these men on a more... Um, personal level to where we can be somebody that they can relate to, somebody that they can identify with, somebody that will be complementary to their lives outside of just great X. And y'all know what that is. Outside of somebody that just looks good. Like men are having the, the issue of finding a woman that they feel can really balance them out, that they feel can really be complementary. I cannot say that word enough. They can really be complementary to who he is as a man. Like, that's the issue. Like, yeah, I have no problem finding a beautiful woman or an attractive woman. But when it comes to her personality, I can't relate. I can't deal with it. When it comes to the way that she thinks, I can't relate. I can't deal with it. That's the issue. And so I'm asking my brothers, do they agree with that? And if they do agree with that, I would love for y'all to drop down in the comments and let us know as women what we can do to change that around. 
to where you all aren't just walking away from marriage and walking away from family building and walking away from relationships because y'all truly don't like us as people. That's what he's saying. He's saying, yes, the women are beautiful. You can have a great time with a woman, but as far as who they are as people, trash. What can we do to fix that? Anyway, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I would love to hear what you all have to say about this. Um, do men not really like women? Um, is he reaching? Is it doing too much? I would love to know. But y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.